aka Charizard King, and we are here in week one, facing off against who we faced off against last season of FBL Arts. And um, yeah, still still have nightmares about that game, so let's try and win this one for sure. Uh, he has a very good team. He did not bring the Samurai like I expected. So this is going to be a fun, interesting match. Kraugno was an interesting bring, mostly because I don't really have any ice weak Pokemon. And I'm going to have Sun up most of the game. Dunsparce, of course, is going to be a problem. But hopefully we could break through that. Because if not, I know that thing can get rolling. Um, I figure let's bluff the Scarf and lead Dapper Dan. And maybe he'll lead something slow enough that we can take advantage of the bolt switch but we shall see good luck have fun zamazenta crown is always a beast of a pokemon to have to go up against but i think we prep for it enough i just hope we didn't over prep for that and end up getting beat by something else so we shall see good luck have fun arts So obviously we are leading off with Dapper Dan, aka Sandy Shocks, and let's see what they lead off with. Oh, not a good matchup for us. But we are gonna go ahead and make the switch. He might try to well, why would he bolt switch, right? Um, I'm gonna go Trishula here. Because that's the only Pokemon I am willing to take a hit with. And we should be able to take a hit pretty well. Just depending on what he decides to go for. Uh, hopefully not Nasty Plot. Because that would suck. <laughs> Alright. Trishula comes out. He goes for Grass Knot. So we could deal with that. Oh, did a lot. And it is Life Orb, so it's not choice. Um, I make the play 100% to just Terra here and Dragon Dance. We want to be faster than his whole team. If he Focus Blast, that'd be great. If he switches to Zamazenta, um, fair enough. But this is my Terra Captain, so I'm going to go ahead and Terra away. Cryogonal, I believe, is the one he brought. Because he did not bring um, Samurott or Salazzle. So those two are out of the tearing ability. Oh, that hurts. So he's switching and probably going to Zamazenta. Now that makes me wish I didn't <laughs> Terra, because then we would have resisted that hit. So Zamazenta for sure comes out, and it is item locked into uh, the Dauntless Shield. He does get the uh, uh, defense boost. We get our Dragon Dance. This is going to hurt it, but not terribly, but it will get it in range of something else to kill it. Well, at least it should, unless he's running like max defense. Almost half, so he's he's invested in uh, health or defense in some way, shape, or form. So fair enough. He's got the play rough. I am going to go to... I'm going to go to Franklin, and I think I click Will-O-Wisp. We're going to get the sun out. Uh, do I want a will o -Wisps or do I want to take advantage of him switching? I'm going to go for the flamethrower, actually. So, yep, he switches. Of course, he doesn't want to get will o -Wisps. Three Pete. What's this? Okay. The... The Dun Sparse. 
and it takes that rather well. So maybe assault vested. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and willow wisp this thing because we do have heat rock, so we have plenty of time for sun. He goes for the stealth rocks, and I'm gonna hope to get the burn to take care of that leftovers uh, healing. And also to weaken its physical moves if it has any. And then what I'm going to do now. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think the smart play is to go to. I don't know if I want to pop this yet. That's the question. I think I'm going to go to Dapper Dan. And start clicking Discharge. Or maybe even double out to... I don't know. He goes for Glare. We can't get paralyzed. So good thing I didn't go to Leviathan. Uh, this thing's going to be a pain in the ass to break. Honestly, I, uh, getting rid of our only physical attacker was a problem. I'm going to go into... I'm not going to go into anything. I'm just going to go ahead and click Volt Switch. Yep, goes back into that. Goes back into the Thunderous, Volt Absorb, gets the health back. Um, I'm going to go to Master Key. Go into Cleft Key and just start clicking Draining Kiss and see how that goes. So, he's not predicting anything. He's just going Grass Knot. Lost some of his HP again. And I will go for the Draining Kiss. Just get some damage off. He goes Volt Switch. Oh, and does a lot. A lot of damage. But now what does he go into? Haxorus, maybe? No, why would he go into Haxorus? Um... Bacteria? Possibly? Nope. Three feet again. So back into this thing. We get our draining kiss. That does literally nothing. Uh, gonna have a problem breaking through that. And I was worried he would bring this, but I was hoping he wouldn't. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go for the foul play. Let's see if that was the right move. He brings this thing back out. Okay, well that did something. Now we go out to Dapper Dan. So he doesn't kill us with Volt Switch. Unless he predicts, we'll find out. Our special attack was heightened. He goes Thunderbolt. Okay, so now he was just trying to kill that thing. Sunlight has faded. Our attack goes back down. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in and click uh see I don't know what to do. Because if I go into Torkoal and he just clicks Thunderbolt, 
I'm in trouble. If I click Flash Cannon and Grass Knot two hit KOs, I'm in trouble. Uh, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna go to Torkoal and then click Flamethrower. Or maybe even Stealth Rocks, because he keeps switching like crazy. Grass Nut? That hurts. You know what? I'm going to go back into Dapper Dan. Pull the clean double switch. And then click Flash Cannon, because then he should be in range. No point in losing our son just yet. But this is one turn. We have six more to go. And it's the power of wits at this point. Rox is chipping us down, but... Luckily, not by much. And what does he decide to do here? Fudge Bomb. Middle ground play. And I wonder if... Um, I wonder if Grass Knot kills us here. We'll find out. Because uh, I'm staying in. I'm not switching. I hope he's in range of a flash cannon. We do have the special attack boost, even though he resists. He switches. All right. So we're going to get some momentum here. Three Pete. This should hurt. Because we're modest. Plus one special attack. Wow. That did nothing. Or at least not as much as I was hoping. And I, I'm not, I'm just going to click Flash Cannon, because if he switches, I'm screwed. Does he recover? Oh, Special Defense fell. That's helpful. Yeah, he roosts. Okay. But now he's minus one Special Attack. I mean, Special Defense. Sorry. So, does he switch now? Or does he just... Roost stall me. By the way, this is um competitive, so no worries. Not worried about timer at all. <laughs> Just clicking moves and playing the game. That's the best thing about uh, what they did. They brought back the hour timer. I'm sure we're not using hour, maybe 30 minutes, but chest timer is much better to play on. And let's see what he decides to do here. I hope he switches. But to what will he switch to? I have no idea. And then he could probably revenge kill me. But we are salt vested, so we should be able to live a hit for, from pretty much anything. Even if he decides to do something here. Special defense drop would have been nice there as well. That didn't happen. Uh, I think we're running out of turns of sun too. I hope we at least have two more turns. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got three more turns. Okay, so we're in a good spot. We got the pressure on him. Let's keep it on. Maybe now that he's at full health, he'll be comfortable switching. But we are just going to keep our foot on the gas. If he gets another drop, he for sure has to switch. He goes glare. Yep. He expected us to switch. Well, I guess now he knows we have heat rock. But once this thing goes down, we are going to have a much easier time. Because I think this could have walled um, my Leviathan. And it definitely could have... Uh, Paralyzed it, which would have made it very bad. 
Okay, so now he's going to come in with something. Let's see what he decides to go into. It sucks that he has play rough on Zamazenta because that kind of ruins um, what I was going for with it. Uh, I wanted to use Spiritomb to hard wall it. I think I could live one, though. I think I could live one... Oh, spooky boy. Uh, he's gonna ice beam me, I am sure. And Dapper Dan is still in good health. I am gonna go into Master Key and hope I live the ice beam and then Thunder Wave. Does Thunder Wave heal a Volt Switch Pokemon? I mean, a Volt Absorb Pokemon? That's a good question. We'll find out. And there's the Terra. Let's see what he decides to go into. Okay, so we live a play, two potential play roughs. Okay, I'm going to go Thunder Wave. Ice in my veins, and he chose Fire. So now this thing is crippled. It is slower now, which is great. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um... I'm gonna foul play just because it's it'll do da it'll do damage more damage than draining kiss will and it breaks the sash potentially so terrifier comes off and it's levitate gotta remember that it is levitate I'm going to go into Franklin here. And I'm going to put up Stealth Rock. Hopefully. If I live a hit. Stealth Rocks. Please switch. Go into something else. Terror Blast. I am not living that. Sun boosted and all. <laughs> okay, so. Should have probably sacked off Torkoal. For... Man, that's, that's a play though. Like, You know what? Let's go to Leviathan. It's time to start killing things. We're out of sun. I can't risk going for agility against this thing because it has freeze dry, I'm sure. So, Hydro Steam, we click. So, thankfully for the paralysis, we outspeed this without needing to agility. I love how it's translucent. <laughs> well, it was translucent. All right, now what does he go into? If he goes into Zamazenta, we agility. If he goes into Spectrier, we Agility, Champs R Us. This thing, we switch. This thing, we switch. Um, I gotta go Spooky here. He's probably going to Dragon Dance or Swords Dance. But Spirit Tomb should be able to live one of anything, even at plus two. And if we can't, we're fucked. <laughs> Plain and simple. No, he goes for the Outrage. Critical hit. Mm. That is unfortunate. 
maybe I overpredicted uh, the. Uh... Maybe I overpredicted. <laughs> Just in general. Oh man. Um, I think we lose now. I, I don't know. I think we lose. Because I need an agility. I am going to... I'm going to flash cannon. Oh, he couldn't switch. I could have just went Earth Power. Oh, he's faster anyway. He must be Scarf. Can you be confused? I know I said uh, no hacks, please, but I need it. Okay, well... I guess it all depends on if I can live a hit, which is probably not the case. And I just have to click agility. I do have investment, but yeah, not enough. Not enough for that. That's probably adamant scarf. Oh, and now it's confused. <laughs> well, GG's. Uh, lost to him week one last time, lost to him this time. But... You know, we got a few kills in there. I thought we played okay. We'll just have to try to do better next week. See you guys next time.